Granite Docklink from IBM is a multimodal image to text model which is engineered for efficient document conversion. So they have this demo over here, right? So where you can actually upload an image and you can try out these various tasks. So I just tried out this where I uploaded this particular image of N formula and asked it to, you know, generate latex basically convert this formula to latex and it gave me this latex output and if i were to verify this latex output and try to render it actually renders the image properly over here so with this particular granite docklink model you can convert any images to a docklink format right any document images to a docklink format so for example, I uploaded this tabular uh, data image, right? This is an alphabet in consolidated balance sheet. And I asked this to actually convert this page to doc link and it has given me the doc link structure over here. Okay. Now this can be further fed to downstream LLMs to do various kind of tasks. So it does a good job with this kind of tabular data, you know, with this formula, whatever latex conversion. Now this model is only 258 million parameters and what it does is that it replaces the vision encoder of this edfx 3 architecture. So edfx 3 is a multi-model image to text model, okay, image text to text model. Uh, it introduces two key modifications. It replaces the vision encoder in this with the siglip 2 base patch 16512 and substitutes the language model with a granite 165 um, million parameters LLM. Okay, so this supports only English currently. It is an Apache 2.0 license model. That means that it is free to use for commercial purposes. So what are the features which are available with this particular granite docklink 258 million parameter model other than your existing docklink pipeline? Features, this has enhanced equation recognition, more accurate detection and formatting of mathematical formulas, flexible inference modes. So you can do full page inference, BB box guided region inference. So basically bounding box guided region inference. It has improved stability, enhanced inline equations, document element QA. So answer questions about a document structure such as the presence and order of document elements. And here they are saying Japanese, Arabic and Chinese support. And they are saying experimental, probably that's the reason why the language is still English over here. So they have given you code also if you want to run it using transformers, right? So you can copy paste this code and try it out. I am uh, for the moment, I am just trying out the online demo, right? Um, so this is another example which I gave, right? This uh, page from a newspaper or from an article and I asked it to convert this page to doc link. You can see over here, uh, you know, it is highlighted those regions and it has done a very good conversion of this particular image over here. Okay. So I can, uh, you can ask a new question also over here. So then what I did was, so I again wanted to try with this image and see if it can actually decipher the graphs over here. It went for a toss over here. I'm not sure why I said, question and answer about the uploaded image. I said decipher both the graphs in the image. It went for a toss. So instead, if I were to ask, uh, you know, convert this page to a doc link, okay, there's an error. Um, so let me load this image again. And convert this page to doc link. See what happens over here. Okay. So it says, oh, it's got this structure. It has got this entire element. And that entire element it says as a picture. It says this with a picture tag. Okay, when it got converted to docklink. What I was expecting is this kind of text being extracted because if you had given this image to an OCR, I see that this text have been extracted. What I would have expected is some more, you know, this graph as an element, picture element, this as a picture element, probably text extracted from that. But this is the kind of result I got over here. Okay. Maybe I'll try asking a new question over here and say that, you know, decipher the risk factors. Let me see if it works. 
four risk factors bar graph yeah it kind of okay starts giving some random percentages over here where is this coming from okay hypoglycemia low blood sugar 25 percent into average body weight reduction in clinical trials where is this coming okay it's coming from here 15 to 20 percent average a percent rate is of this particular graph instead of this graph so there could be issues like this over here okay so it kind of goes into a repetitive loop or something so you need to check out for which documents it really works for you i have given some examples over here of various kinds of tasks this was a short video on granite talking you can also go and check out granite talking this is a small model 258 million parameters for efficient document conversion hope this video is useful to you i'll be putting all the relevant links in the description of the video See you in another video.